Happy Easter to you all and welcome to Over the Family with Evangelist Noy Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. Our Lord is risen, for death could not hold him captive. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God for this Easter Sunday morning. We thank God that we are able to walk with him throughout the period of Lent. We thank God that we had time to reflect on the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for us. And today we have every reason to celebrate. Everyone is rejoicing. We must be glad here on earth for our salvation. What God has given to us in Jesus Christ, the rock of our salvation, our hope of eternal rest in God's kingdom will not fail us. Glory be to God. We thank God for this day. We are filled with the spirit of celebration. Glory be to God as we proclaim the wondrous work of God for us, revealed in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as we lift up the living word of God in us, that word that has given us life, that has saved us from the kingdom of darkness and brought us into God's marvelous light. We are the children of God. Glory be to God. We give God a glad offering for what he has done for us. We bless his holy name. He is our Lord. He is the Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you this day. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. We start this session this morning by reading from Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for its acts of power. Praise Him for its surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with the strings and flutes. Praise Him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding symbols. Let everything that has been praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God for what he has done for us. Praise God for our salvation. Rejoice in the presence of God today and bless him because he's God. There's no doubt God has him. Death will not hold us cut. We'll be resurrected with Jesus Christ when we die. Glory be to God. For the Lord is our, uh, the Lord is our Lord and portion in the land of the living. The Lord is our eternal portion in God's kingdom. For we are heirs of God's kingdom with Jesus Christ. Go heads with him. With glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God that he gave him pleasure to make Jesus Christ to die for us. That sacrifice that God accepted for once. No one can lift up their voice against us or their hands against us. No cause can stand against us. For our God enjoys us. We bless God for the blood of Jesus Christ speaking on our behalf today. That blood that has given us total victory. We are clothed with the robe of righteousness and the garment of salvation. Glory be to God. Our sins have been blotted away on Calvary. We have total victory over darkness. We are dancing today that no evil force can stand against us. Our God has already broken every snare. He has lifted up our heads and given us total victory. That he has made us the light of this world and the salt of this world. Who can come against us. Blessed be our God Jehovah. As we celebrate this day, we thank you. Oh, we have every reason to thank you. To bless you for your faithfulness and love to us. Father, thank you for our salvation in your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our risen Lord. Death could not hold in cutting. Death will not hold us cutting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Our God has triumphed over darkness. He has given us a name above every, every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. And in measure of that name, every name must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We confess this day Jesus Christ as our Lord, the rock of our salvation. We confess this day that he is our Lord and Savior. We confess this day that he is the Son of the living God. We confess this day that he has given us power to become the children of God. We confess this day that we are heirs of God's kingdom and co-heirs of the kingdom with Jesus Christ. We confess this day that God has made us powerful, that every authority or proof strongholds have been given to us in Jesus Christ. We confess this day that we have every reason to celebrate and rejoice here on earth. For this is the day the Lord has made. God has given us total free victory over every walk of darkness. Oh, we confess this day that no, no stumbling block can stand against us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we confess this day that Jesus Christ is Lord of all the nations of the world. We confess this day that we are the children of the living God, the redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We know it and we are saying so. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 For what God has done for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We praise the living word of God in our heart of season. But the power God has given to us will be revealing to the world in the name of Jesus Christ. I will say 
Jesus Christ is the Lord of all the nations. That this word will be received. That all the nations will hear about what God has done for us. In the name of Jesus. That light will not find any place to hide. Father, we bless you. We thank you for a day of celebration. We thank you, O God Almighty. As we call to remember your faithfulness to us. What you did for us. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. So that the living God working in us and through us. To make sure that the will of God is done here on earth. So that the living God, we bless you this morning. Morning. Oh, thank you for our protein spiritual struggles. Thank you for helping us in our unbelief. Thank you for giving us inner strength to prevail in every situation. Thank you that today tables are set before us right in the presence of our enemies. Thank you for the anointing of God of God upon us today. Our heads are be anointed and anointed. The seal of God's ownership upon our foreheads. We bless you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have made us strong pillars of your house. No evil can uproot our foundation. We are planted by you, Jehovah. We thank you, our Father. We prosper in good works. Our our leaves are evergreen in the name of Jesus Christ. We produce our fruit in our season. Glory be to God. There's no barrenness in our homes, no barrenness in our lives, no barrenness in the lives of our children. We uproot every spirit of barrenness, every voice that we attempt to speak into our lives contrary to the will of God. We celebrate you, our God. Glory be to God for this beautiful day you have given to us. We bless you, Jehovah, in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Father, we thank you. Let in our eyes as we study today. We are reading your word. Let your spirit teach us today, instruct us today, rebuke us in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that precious blood of Jesus Christ upon ourselves today, upon our families, upon our nations, upon the body of Christ and the other spirit. We thank you, God. We bless you for souls that will come to you even today. Glory be to God. We thank you that you are revealed to the world today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name for what you have done for us. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the eyes from the house of God. We bless you. We bless you this day, my dear sister, Mrs. Gladys Idiake Ikoria, for calling in all the way from Nigeria. We thank God for what he has given to us, our salvation in Jesus Christ. We bless God for his faithfulness. I thank you, my dear cousin, Efosa Uye. I'm supposed to pronounce that Benin name right. Thank you for calling in today, all the way from Benin City. Oh, I believe you are in Europe. God bless you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. I want us to also read Psalm, Psalm 90. Glory be to God. Lord, you have been a dwelling place throughout all generations, before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return to dust, O sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. You sweep men away in the sleep of faith. They are like the new grass of the morning. Though in the morning it springs up, by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a mourn. mourn. The, the, the length of our days is 17 years or 80 if we have the strength. Yet this, their span is but trouble and sorrow. For they quickly pass and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as great as the fear that is to you. Teach us to number our days aright. That we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, O Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfeeling love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as we, you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Est establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Glory be to God that the favor of our Lord has fallen upon us today. We have every reason to celebrate God and to thank Him. He has been our help in ages past. Our help for tomorrow, our help for today. Glory be to God. He has given us a Savior. We bless God for His faithfulness. He is our God. He has never failed us. I thank you, my dear sister in law, uh, Mrs. Joyce Luebe. Thank you for calling in. God bless you and your family, your ministry. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I also want us to read some two. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they say, and throw off their, their fetters. 
The world enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then he rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy Eve. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will rule them as an iron with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like poetry. Therefore, your kings be wise. Therefore, you kings be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest, lest he, he be angry, and you will be destroyed in your way. For Israel can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Amen. For the kings of the kingdom of the earth, we acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Kings from distant land, we come to bow down before him. In vain the kings were enraged and gathered against him. God scoffed at them. He laughed at them. Amen. Were they able to prevent Jesus Christ from going to the cross? No. Despite the agony on that cross, he went for us. Even when they placed guards on the doors that they were thinking that his, his disciples would come to steal the body at night, what happened? Jesus Christ still resurrected. That's why we are rejoicing today. That we are not deceived. Even when it was on that cross, you know, the, there was resurrection took place. The people who died, only men who died, the God resurrected them in men to show us that truly we can trust God and believe in the word of God. People saw that glory be to God, and Jesus Christ appeared to people so many people when it when, when God resurrected him. So today we are rejoicing for what God has done for us in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God, hallelujah, amen. We are going to read now the uh, passage Matthew chapter 28, the resurrection. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week. Mary Madeline and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook, that they shook, the, uh, that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. Amen. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The guards report. When the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priests everything that had happened. When the chief priests had met with the elders and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money, telling them, You are to say his disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed, and this story has been widely circulated among the Jews to this very day. I'll stop here before I go into the Great Commission. Despite the fact that that story, that lie, has been widely circulated, not just among the Jews today, but so many places, has it changed anything? More people are coming to Jesus Christ. That shows you the power of God, that this is truly the truth. More than 2,000 years ago, we are still talking about Jesus Christ, still preaching Jesus Christ, still telling the world about the salvation of God. That shows you the power of God. When they, that earthquake shook, they say a violent earthquake. The guards saw it. They heard it. They saw it. If it's so violent as the word of God said, it was seen, it was heard around the world. Uh, the people in that area, they knew what happened. Amen. And the power of God was displayed. The mighty acts of God's power in resurrection. No man can, dis can, can, can hide or try to, to say that it did not happen, it happened because who saw it were the first to testify. Amen. Glory be to God. We have received it and we thank God. 
that the living word of God is alive in us. It will not die. Amen. They were not able to kill it in the previous generation. It will not die in this generation. It's our duty to continue to preach it. Say it. Tell people the truth. As we have received salvation, that more people will come to know God. For our God does not delight in the death of a sinner. He's not slack about his promises to give us eternal life or to punish the wicked. He's not slack about any of his promises, but he's waiting for us to repent from our sins to turn back to him. So, as children of the living God, those that have received the word, have seen the power of God at work in our lives, it is our responsibility to continue to tell people. We begin from our families, ensure that our children know this God. Amen. Because this must be passed on from one generation to the other, that the enemy will not triumph against the kingdom of God. We are building blocks. God is relying on us. He's going to use us to build his kingdom. Glory be to God. Angels testified. They knew the women were waiting. They knew the women were afraid. Afraid of the people. We are not sure of what will happen. The Savior they knew. Someone who was helping them had gone, had been taken away from them. Amen. And the angel appeared to testify. The angels, they are still here, appearing to men, telling us the truth. We have a crowd of witnesses above telling us, continue. It is the truth. Walk on that path. Hold on to the word. Feed on it. It is the truth. Proclaim it. Teach your children the truth. Because Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. God is not a liar. We are not making out to be a liar. Amen. So we must testify. Tell the truth. Glory be to God. The angel, they said, there was a violent earthquake. That uh, 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 for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. Amen. Glory be to God. Came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled the stone and sat on it. When we are in high school, Gladys, I think you remember this song that Sister Veronica taught us. <laughs> The angels roll the stone away. The angels roll the stone away. It was one of the beautiful Easter Sunday morning. The stone was rolled away. That's as much as I can remember. That Mary came out running. Mary was running to the tomb to look for that stone. But the angel had rolled away the stone. Amen. Anything that the enemy has played, placed as an hindrance that attempted to prevent the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to, to be alive in us, to walk in us today, the angels have rolled off all the stones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That power is at work in us today. Amen. We believe it. Amen. And we are telling people that if only they will receive the salvation of Jesus Christ, that that power will be at work in their lives today in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ. We still have angels ministering to us. They are all around because God wants us to be saved. That's why he sent his son to die for us. This salvation, this rejoicing is for the entire world. We pray that our brothers and sisters will receive it. That they will understand what God has given to us in Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the gods knew that Jesus Christ was the Son of the Living God. They knew and they reported to the elders, they reported to the governor what they saw. But they were some that wanted to change the story. Amen. And give them a large sum of money. What money can do? So many have received money. They have received influences from the kingdom of darkness. But that is evil money. Remember the story of Judas Iscariot. What did he do? He went to die. But he was filled with that remorse after he knew what he did to the Lord. He was in the line of prophecy. He went through, gave the money to the elders. They refused to take it. He threw it at the temple. The temple. He went and he bought a feed and he hung himself. Amen. May that not be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we not receive a gift that will, be, that will take our salvation from us. What God has given to us. Glory be to God. May we continue to walk with God. Glory be to God. We celebrate this day. May we always have a reason to celebrate it all the days of our lives. That our children will celebrate it. Our families will know the God that we know. The God that we have chosen. The God that called us, chose us first. And we believe in Him. And we say, Yes, Father, we will walk with you. We have faith to believe every word you have spoken, you have given to us. Every word spoken concerning us that you have given us your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. See that we may be faithful. They were afraid. The angels knew they were afraid. When Jesus Christ saw them, he knew they were afraid. He knew what they were against. Amen. And he told them, just as the angel said, that they should not be afraid. That this Jesus Christ is seeking. He's no longer here. He has gone. He's going to the Holy City. Go and tell his disciples, just as he said he would do. Glory be to God. So the women are read away from the tomb. I want to go out back. That the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus. 
some of us may be looking for Jesus in the wrong places today. Let us hear the voice of wisdom leading us back to that path that God has set for us. Amen. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Amen. I have a friend of mine, a very good friend. She's in Jerusalem. This uh, She has been away. She traveled during, for, for Holy pilgrimage during this period. Amen. She, was, she told me I will see the truth of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, when, when I go, when she comes back, I'm waiting for all the story. We are supposed to go together, but because of so many other things, I could not join the group that went this year. When she comes back, she's going to tell me something that she was very excited about it. I pray that she'll have a beautiful spiritual experience over there with the entire thing that she traveled with. That will see that place. People saw it. They knew where Jesus Christ was buried. This is not someone just making up a story. Amen. It is the truth. And we must feed on it. Receive it. Amen. That he has risen. Amen. He has risen from the dead and it's God going ahead of you into Galilee. Yeah, you will see him. Now I have told you. Amen. So the women bought already away from the tomb. Film for the trip after afraid yet filled with joy. They were afraid but filled with joy. Miss feelings that this is really true. Amen. Filled with joy and ran to tell it his disciples. Suddenly Jesus came to them. He met them. Amen. Jesus Christ met them. Greetings, he said. Glory be to God. They, 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 I'm trying to see where I am. They came to him, clasped his feet, amen, to ensure that this is Jesus Christ, amen, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. That's what he's telling us today. Do not be afraid of all the things you see, of what you hear about, what you know is happening, what people are attempting to do. Don't be afraid of anything, for I've given you peace, my peace. You are victorious in me. You are victorious through the spirit of the living God in you. Do not be afraid of anything. Do not be afraid, amen. Glory be to God. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and they will see me. Amen. And they saw him. Glory be to God. Today we pray that we we'll see Jesus in our spirits. Amen. My soul, the body, everything around us will see Jesus. Amen. That that spirit of fear will be broken. Whatever is attempting to, attempting to bring fear into us. So do not be afraid. That peace I give you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives it. That in my father's house, uh, uh, do not be bothered about the cares and worries of this world. In my father's house and many mansions, we know so. I would have told you that behold, I've gone ahead of you to prepare a place where I am. That's where you'll be. Amen. We believe that we'll be with him wherever he has gone to heaven in his father's house. Where there are many mansions of us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the next thing Jesus Christ did was to give the great, the great commission. Amen. The great commission. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee. In obedience to the word of Jesus Christ, when the women went to them, they believed the women. Jesus Christ had told them before he died that they should go ahead to, to Galilee. They went. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountains, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. He told them before. When they saw him, they worshipped him. Amen. The women saw him, they worshipped him. When, when the, uh, the disciples saw him, they worshipped him. Today we are worshipping Jesus Christ. We continue to worship him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are blessing God the Father for his faithfulness, for his love and everything he has given to us. We are thanking God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God revealing the things we need to know. The Spirit of God, that if our spirit agree with the Spirit of God, that we are the children of God, we are truly the children of God. Our spirit is in agreement with the Spirit of the living God, that we are the children of the living God, that Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. And so it is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now when they saw it, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Just as today, some may be doubting. Is it true? Is it not true? God cannot do anything with anyone that is double-minded. We must be firm in our purposes. God, the word of God describes a double-minded person like uh, the unstable waves of the sea that is tossed here and there. By the wind that God cannot do anything with that person. We must be firm in your purposes that I believe and I believe. Even if it means my life and everything about me, I believe and I'm receiving it. I'm feeding on the word of God the way it has been given to me as a little babe. Amen. So that I can grow in the spirit. That the spirit of God is empowering me to grow. Glory be to God. We believe every word God has spoken. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. All authority because he was obedient to God. He went to that cross. He's not content with God. He did not. He was not boastful. He, he humbled himself when he was tired. When he talked about the agony of, of the cross, he went to pray, asking God the Father that strengthen me. Let your will be done, not mine. Amen. He was obedient to the end for me and you. Amen. 
God forsaken. Uh, forsook, uh, he was forsaken. He made me use that word. Forsaken because of me and you. Today, none of us can say we have been forsaken by our God. It was Jesus Christ that God, God for, that God forsaked or forsaked or what, what is that English word? Amen. Because of us. Glory be to God that we may have life. Amen. But today, I, I we thank God for the life that God has given to us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He was made sin for us. Amen. He who did not sin. Glory be to God. And God gave him all authority in heaven and on earth as were given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything, everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. It is very important in men to carry out everything Jesus Christ taught his disciples to be taught to us is in the word of God. For God's first glory be to God, the acts of the apostle. Amen. Even going as far back as the prophets read and understand what was taught, what was all the prophecy about Jesus Christ. So teach them everything because he wants us to know the truth. Amen. The people perish because of ignorance, because of lack of wisdom. There's wisdom for us. Amen. There's knowledge for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And God wants us to know everything. Baptism is very important to Jesus. I said, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. It is part of uh, the Holy Sacraments. Amen. Jesus Christ was baptized and it wanted to be done. Today, it was very significant to me. I went to two services. One at my Pentecostal church, the Lord of Jesus Family Church. Then I went to the Roman Catholic Church in my town. Uh, uh, St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Amen. Glory be to God. And we had to take um, what, uh, the communion. Amen. Renewal of our vows, of our baptism, baptism, uh, baptism vows. Glory be to God. We, 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 the entire church was read out to us and we had to say it all over again. It was very significant to me. We need to remind ourselves of the importance of this. Amen. We cannot just be tossed around by the wind, by whatever we say. We say we belong to God, that we are the children of God. Let us walk in on the, on the path that God has laid for us. And know that the body of Christ is united. One body. Amen. One baptism. One Father. One Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ. Amen. One hope of resurrection into eternal life. Glory be to God. That's what God has given to us. Glory be to God. Because of us, Jesus Christ was forsaken by God. Amen. That we may have life. Amen. And thank God for the faithfulness of God. That God that is resurrected today. So we give God a clap of faith. Amen. A clap of faith for what God has given to us. For what we have. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 As the heavens above us celebrate, let the earth be filled with gladness. Let the, let the sound of gladness resound from the earth for what God has done for us. Our Father, we bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your faithfulness, for your love, for the gift of salvation, for your grace, for your mercy. For you did not send your son into this world to condemn the world, but through him that the world may be saved. Thank you that we are saved, heirs of salvation. We say thank you, God. Thank you, Jehovah. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you, Lamb of God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We thank you for empowering us to live, to run, and then raise that God has sent for us. We bless you. We bless you, Father Lord, for all the special gifts which you have blessed us in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We know it that we are your children. We know that we are empowered by Jesus Christ. We know it and we are saints so the redeemed of God through the blood of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Receive the praise of what you have done for us in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We have worship. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you, my dear sister uh, Auntie Eunice Osega for calling in. God bless your family your ministry. I thank you, my dear sister Vicky Next year means I jealous are your move. Thank you for calling in. God bless you and your families. Glory be to God. God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of the day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ is risen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen.